Okay, in this video, I am going to solve a problem on simple strain, uh, particularly on um, statically indeterminate members. So the link, links B, C, and D, E are both made of steel with modulus of elasticity equal to 29 times 10 raised to 6 PSI and are 1 inch wide and 1 half inch thick. Determine letter A, the force in each link when a 1,000 pound force P is applied to the rigid member EF shown and letter B, determine the corresponding deflection of point A. Okay, so... The applied force is 1,000 pounds. Okay. And letter A will determine the force in each link. So what we will do is to analyze member AF. So i-cut na to ang link BC and DE. And then we analyze it. the member AF. But now, since the force is acting to the right, pull niya to the right, then obviously, ang link BC will be stretched. So, tension eh, no? And ang link DA will be compressed. So, there's a compressive force towards member AF. So, for member BC, tensile force, yeah, directed to the left. And for DA, compressive force towards member AF. So, to the left also. <clears throat> Kini is away from member EF. This one towards member EF. Now, sa F, pins ya. So, na ay reaction na ni. Reaction sa X and reaction sa Y. But since we are not interested of the value of uh, the reaction at F, so, we will not sum up for sa Horizontal. So we will go directly to summation of moment about F since we are only interested with if B C and if B E. So <clears throat> let's sum up moment about F. So the moment of if B C and if D E are both counterclockwise, and the moment of P is clockwise. Sign convention here positive counterclockwise. So we have this equation. FBC times 4 plus FDE times 2 minus 1,000 times 8. This will be our equation 1. So for equilibrium conditions, we only have one equation. But we have two unknowns. So we need an additional equation. Ah, okay. So we will... Let's have the compatibility equation so where do we get this one from the deform the deform shape of member e b so pag pull sa p na 1000 pounds initially vertical lang af but since uh deformable ang b c and d a ma deform in the and therefore ang af will lean towards the right so ang final position sa af will be this one and so the horizontal displacement sa A mo nang uh, requires a letter B corresponding deflection of point A. And this distance is the elongation of link BC and this distance is the shortening of link DE. So we have this one. Our XA Horizontal displacement of point A. This one, the elongation of link BC. And this one, the shortening of link B. And from here, <clears throat> we will relate delta BC and delta DE by ratio and proportion so that we will have an expression involving FBC and FBE. So by ratio and proportion, we have delta BC over 4, that's horizontal over vertical, equals horizontal over vertical by similar triangles. 
And makancel ni 2 and 4. So natay 2 dere. And cross multiply. We have this one. And we replace delta by its expression PL over EE. Now, for the cross-sectional area and modulus of elasticity, equal raman, same raman. Both are made of steel, so same value of E, and both have these dimensions, one inch wide and one half inch thick. So, same lang ang area and modulus of elasticity. So, they only differ sa uh, internal force, I mean, resisting force and length. So, makancel ra ang E. And compute 2 times 5, 10 divided by 4, we have 2.5. So, FBC equals 2.5 times FBE. This will be our equation 2. So, we now have two equations with two unknowns and use any method sa algebra. And I think the most convenient method here is method of substitution. So, we will substitute equation 2 to 1, wherein we will replace FBC by this one. We have this. And solving for FDE. FDE is 666.67 pounds. So after this, you can solve FBC either using equation 1 or 2. No? So if you use equation 1, we substitute this value here and we solve for FBC. Or we use equation 2, substitute the rate, solve for FBC. Either equation. Okay, from equation to FBE times 2.5, we have FBC, 1,666.67 pounds. So these are the answers, uh, letter E, force in each link. So letter B, corresponding deflection of point A, by XA, we can solve for XA if we have the value of either delta BC or delta B. Or we do ratio and proportion again. But we need one value sa duhan. Either this one, FBC, or delta BC and delta D. No? And you can solve any of them since we already have the value of the resisting forces. Okay, so let's solve for delta BC. So, money and formula. PL uh, force times length over positional area and modulus of elasticity. Okay, so FBC is 1,666.67. Ang length niya is 4 inches. Ang area is 1 inch by 1 half or 0.5 inch. And then modulus of elasticity 29 times 10 is to 6. 1 times 1 half, 4.5. And this is the elongation of link BC. 4.598 times 10 raised to negative 4 inches. And to solve for X sub A, ratio and proportion again, involving X sub A and delta BC. <clears throat> Uh, horizontal over vertical 8 equals horizontal delta BC over vertical 4. And then we substitute the value of delta BC, this one. And then solve for X sub A. The value is 9.2 times 10 raised to negative 4. <clears throat> okay, so that's it. I hope that you have learned something from this video. Thank you for watching.